Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks, India's longest running show on entrepreneurship and startups. Now, two IIT Delhi graduates, along with a former Twitter engineer, decided to disrupt the largely unorganized services market. The trio of Abhiraj Bahel, Varun Ketan, and Raghav Chandra set up Urban Clap, a professional services marketplace in 2014, from where one can hire services of verified professionals, from a plumber to a home decorator to a photographer and even a yoga teacher, all using the Urban Clap website or app. Having raised a total of $37 million from investors like Bessemer, Safe, and Axel Partners, Urban Clap wants to be your go to platform for all services. <laughs> Earlier what we have to do, we have to wait for the price, price change and all. Now we are getting three fixed prices to Urban Clap. We have to, uh, we don't have to convince the customer for the pricing. So it is uh, prefixed and customers are happy to get the service in that, that price range. What they have done is they have taken the pain and the burden of marketing from a small vendors, from a small startup because they are, they are marketing on a very big platform. They have taken all the back benches to the front bench. Everybody is becoming more professional in this. Making this possible is this young founding team. I was working in the US uh, after graduating from IIT. Um, spent a couple of years working in technology as well as then uh, business consulting but always wanted to come back uh, to India and start a business of my own and was in um, touch with Abhiraj uh, who's a batchmate of mine and close friend from first days at IIT. About April last year we decided to take that jump. So at that time we got introduced uh, to Raghav uh, by one of our close mutual friends. Raghav had also come back to India after working and studying in the US uh, with very similar aspirations. And that aspiration was to create a simple way to hire trusted professional services. Enter Urban Club. Creating a business in local services was unheard of in India. Everybody thought there's no problem, like what are you guys even trying to do? So in some ways Urban Club has really created this category and made people realize there is a huge problem. We have all been assuming the previous way of doing local service buying as, as the norm. We started off being very aggressive. We, you know, we used to personally go out, meet all the professionals ourselves. I remember times when we were out in Khan Market, uh, you know, getting customers onboarded. And I think that personal touch really helps uh, to bridge in the gap between professionals and customers and get that comfort level showing. Uh, now, you know, with this sort of an established brand setting in, um, customer acquisition is eased out and where it has become more of a process um, for us. We have more than 60 services to offer, everything from home to events, um, lessons, health, personal, as well as business services. We have almost treated micro-entrepreneurs out of people uh, where you know, typically say a salon instructor would have worked in a parlor, done anywhere between 10 to 15,000 bucks a month. Um, we've taken that out and up and you know, on their own they're able to uh, really maximize the business and even earn up to like 40, 45,000. What seems like an extremely simple process in theory has a lot going on at the back end. We have mobile apps on both sides, on the customer side as well as the professional side and that creates a lot of this magic real time very fast. So you place a request now, it goes to relevant professionals who are very active on the app. So they will respond almost immediately in the next minute, two minutes, five of them will respond to your request. Then you can chat with them and quickly decide whom you like most. When there is a designated service time decided, at that time, like an hour before that, it will remind the professional that he needs to show up and at this time of service ask you whether the service has been started or not. Urban Club has recently raised $25 million from Bessemer Venture Partners along with existing investors like Axel Partners and Seth. But Urban Club is not the only investor backed venture in this space. Others include Local Oil, Time Savers, Good Service, House Joy. So how do they plan to stand out in this competitive environment? New players enter all the time, we probably this space already has 50 plus players already, uh, but execution is where the key lies. I think we've done that beautifully and it's, it's a hard task, uh, but we built a strong team and we're able to get past all the hurdles. Since April we have now grown uh, to four cities, all of Delhi NCR, Bombay, Bangalore, 
uh, and Chennai. In the next year, we would want to establish ourselves across the other metropolitans in India, uh, right? And then consider maybe you know going forth into the next year or perhaps uh, looking abroad. Although there are still things which are a little far away. Uh, right now, all our focus is going into really building and fulfilling customer journeys end to end. Well, here's wishing the team at Urban Clap the very best and welcome to the Young Turks Club. It is now time for another break. But on the other side, catch the highlights of the Shiro's annual summit with our Young Turks, Sairi Chahel, on the other side.